Good morning, everyone. Drayton with World's Greatest Kiting here today. We're going to go fly this trash kite somewhere. Right here next to me is where the old cheese grater building used to be in St. Petersburg. I'll uh, show you a picture of it so you see what it used to look like, but here now they've made it a temporary park. Temporary because they're going to build a big gigantic building and let people live in it and shop in it eventually, but not for a while. So we get to enjoy the space before they do that. Maybe, just maybe, we could fly it in there, but I don't think it's open yet. Got the trash bag kite. We're in a park here in uh, downtown St. Petersburg, North Straub Park. This kite, as you might have noticed, is called the pocket kite. I figured out why it's called the pocket kite, because this can fit right in your pocket. It's a very cool traveling kite. Let's pull it out and try to fly it now. Hey, hey. <laughs> I'm the hey, hey guy now. You guys want to see this kite, how it was made a little bit, some of the details that you might have not picked up on yesterday in the, the very fast video of me making this, but to attach the single flying line to the kite, you need to have a bridle on the kite. And the bridle is just a, a piece of that sewing thread that we attached from right here on this corner with a piece of tape. See how it's coming out of there. Over to here on this corner, and it's about, I'd say three feet long. You just find the center point, tie a knot in it, and that's where you tie your single line from. You've got the two air pockets that didn't really open in this flight, but here and here are where we uh, attach a second piece of the plastic to create a little tunnel for the air to go through. Kind of the same principle as the tail here so it's like a big long basket if you can picture that it's a just a big long tube 
and that really helps direct the wind, helps stabilize the kite. And we did try it without the, the tail and it didn't fly as good or not as stable. It still flew. So a tail is, is not necessary, but it will help stabilize the kite. That is pretty much the whole entire kite. There's two bags worth of plastic here, even a little bit less, and not a whole lot of wind. And you saw it still flies really good. Here's how simple it is to roll this thing up and carry it with you. So everybody, thanks for watching today. The trash bag kite was a success. And even though a lot of the video, I accidentally hit the wrong button and you didn't get to see the, the glorious flight of the trash bag kite, but I assure you, you will get to see it again. You might notice it's kind of loud in the background. Well, that's because I live above a concert venue and uh, here, let me show you. So, here in just a few minutes, a band that you guys have probably heard of before, Less Than Jake, is going to be taking stage and I'm going to leave you tonight with a uh, time lapse of the backstage of the Janus Live with Less Than Jake and maybe I'll throw a little bit of their music in there too but I hope you enjoy, I hope you have a good night, I hope you have great winds and happy flying of course. Until tomorrow. Thank <laughs> you.